A quiet weekend with price movement to the upside. The perfect Bitcoin weekend. Am I right? After a 8.89% drop on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we saw a very nice recovery. On Saturday, when the candle first opened, we did see some continuation to the downside and went as low as 30,120 in the early morning. But very quickly, we saw the snapback rally where it jumped all the way back up. We saw a movement on Saturday of about two and a quarter percent. And on Sunday, we saw about seven and a half percent move up, which basically brought us all the way back up to the top of this trading range that we have been watching. So we are now back here at the 35,000 resistance level that we have spoken about over and over again. Will we get over it this week? That's the question. Let's dive into it. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to get you up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this video and enjoy this channel, make sure to smash that like button. It helps us out a ton. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Alrighty guys, so after a wild week, we got some stability in the price and we saw a movement back to the upside. As you can see, the overall market today is up 6.97% in the last 24 hours and Bitcoin is up about 4.5% in the last 24 hours. You see that Ethereum has finally shown some life and it's up about almost 15% in the last 24 hours. So that is a rather exciting uh, surprise as it's been pretty stale. Even with Bitcoin moving up and down, Ethereum hasn't really been going up. It's only been going down really. A look at the fear and greed index. You see we're currently at a 25 here. And as we take a look at the overall heat map here of the majority of the coins here, everything is pretty much green on this beautiful Monday afternoon. So definitely a good start to the week. And as we can see here, we are at the top of this range yet again. So we're back at that $35,000 level where we have been rejected multiple times here. So you can see here, we're looking at the daily chart. We've been rejected one, two, three, and then yesterday we got to it. So far today we've been rejected again. So that's, that would be four there, right? Last time we were at these levels that we got rejected, it basically shot us all the way back down to $30,000. And you'll see here um, when we did break down below this for the first time, we shot down to 30,000 again. So we need to break above this level here if we want to continue and have some upside, right? So we need, if we want continuation to the upside, we need to get into this zone up here. If we do not break above 35, then we're still stuck in this trading zone. As long as we're stuck between this trading zone the highs here is 35,000 and the low is going to be around that $28,000 range. If we can break back above here and start trading in this range, then we are giving ourselves a chance at 40 and $42,000 again and potentially be able to break out of there. Like we've been talking about the last, what well, we've been talking about this level since May, right? We need to get above $42,000 if we want a shot um, basically of getting over all this bearish sentiment and bearish case scenarios. A break above 42, I still believe will trigger a big move up uh, potentially to around 45 to 48,000 and possibly even test the top of this range, which would be around that $50,000 range. Now we have not seen those prices since before mid-May, right? So in order to get up there, we need to break above this current range, then we need to break above the next current range so that we can get up there. Again, a shot above 42, I believe will have a lot of short traders closing their positions and getting liquidated which would take us up to that forty-eight dollars to $50,000 range. Now, if we cannot get above this $35,000 zone, then we're gonna be stuck 
in this range here and this is the range guys it's between 28 to 35 that's why it's so important to flip this from resistance into support so that then we can have this range right here this gives us the opportunity to break out above 42 which basically for me in my perspectives it takes out all the bearish case scenarios of possibly going below 28,000 into testing, you know, 24, 20 and possibly $18,000. That would also put us back on track in the bull market, I believe, and back to possibly hitting some new all time highs before the end of year. As you know, many people target for Bitcoin for end of year is around 100K. So we need to get above 42 in order to be have a chance at even reaching that number. All right, so I've been getting questions about the Wyckoff uh, accumulation update. Uh, people wanted to know more about it. So I did a small update here on my Wyckoff accumulation pattern so that we can see, try to get an idea of where we would be if we try to play it out on the daily time frame here. So if we go ahead and look at the Wyckoff accumulation schematic, as you guys can see, I drew it on the chart. You can see that it, it, it kind of fits the current pattern that we've been in, right? You see, we had the drop, which was a selling climax, then we had the automatic rally, then we had a secondary test here of the bottom, and then we kind of bounced back up, tested that, range, that top of the range again, that resistance got rejected and then came all the way back down and had a secondary test, right? If you look at the accumulation schematic here, so far, so good, right? It's exactly the same. We have the sun climax, automatic rally, secondary test. Then we go into phase B, phase B, where we uh, test the top of the range. We test the top of the range and then we test the bottom of that support. Here we had the secondary test in phase B then it shows that we go back up and, and test the top of this range again. So that's exactly what the price did, tested the top of the range again, and then dropped down to what's considered the spring here, right? If you look here, kind of the same thing. We had a drop down to the spring. So that you'll notice that the spring is lower than the selling climax. And if we look at the chart, the spring here, is lower than the selling climax, right? So that would put us right now in phase C of the accumulation schematic. That would mean that we could possibly test lower one more time. As you guys can see, it kind of starts going higher highs, higher lows here as it goes into phase D. So it looks like right now we had that spring last week and then we had a higher high, higher low, and now we're pushing back up so we could potentially be seeing a higher high here. And then after the higher high, possibly going back down and setting up that higher low to as we go into phase D of the schematic, right? So that's kind of what this would look like right here, a higher high, higher low, and then that next higher low would be the last point of support there, which basically could be if we set a higher high and then a higher low, that higher low would have to be $35,000. As you guys know, we have to flip that into support. So that higher low would be $35,000. That would be the last point of support. Then we can move back up, right? Test this 40,000 to 42,000 range. That's basically exactly what the schematic would show here. This would be that 40 to $42,000 range kind of form of bull flag up here and then take off. And that would be the, the sign of strength up here. So when we would test that, we'd have a last point of support before takeoff and takeoff would go into phase E, as you guys can see here. So again, this is just an idea. Remember, we had we had the we had the same accumulation pattern on the four hour, but the four hour, it did not play out. So we've moved it to the daily now. And it does seem to somewhat be following the schematic here. So we just have to see if it plays out because again, the the distribution one formed over months right or or like months and weeks you know this is just really about a month and a week right so just an idea something that we'll keep updating and we'll we'll continue to watch here and see if anything changes so since we went over the accumulation schematic we wanted to look at a update on the distribution schematic so you guys can see that this one took from February all the way till basically now. 
So uh, basically six months or so, five months or so of uh, price action. And then the one that we're currently looking at in the accumulation phase would be, you know, over a one month period. So it's it's a big difference in time, right? But you can see here where, what would be phase E, which would be just kind of a drop off back down to like that twenty four to twenty thousand dollar area, possibly more or less. Right. Which we haven't had. We've had to drop off to a new low, which was around that twenty eight thousand dollar area. But we haven't had a huge drop off here. So so that's the update on the distribution schematic here. This is a distribution schematic. And then and then this here would be the accumulation schematic. So we're watching both of those kind of comparing them and trying to see if we can if it can give us any type of hint here on the next possible move and uh, its development, right? So we have we're going to keep watching this to see if it continues to uh, if we can get a higher high here and then a higher low and then possibly a retest a retest here of 40 to 42 and then possibly a break which would put us into phase E and that would be the point where we go back to that 48 to $50,000. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. We went over the charts, kind of what we're watching right now, the levels and the ranges that we're currently trading in. And we did, we went over the Wyckoff schematic, both the accumulation and distribution. So we're going to be watching this level, these levels that we showed you guys here. And the main level, remember the main level that we're going to be watching is that $35,000 range. We need to break above that so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to smash that like button guys if you have any questions about anything on the video don't forget to drop it in the comments and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe guys we're at 9.97 k subscribers we're 30 subscribers away from 10 000 subs major milestone for the channel in the 10 months that we've been running it again thank you guys so much i will see you tomorrow as always Peace and love.